We've got a guy on the on the telephone line here. Um, where do we go for the telephone lines? Oh yeah, line one. Um, and uh, his name is Liam. And apparently, you met him in a toilet once. How are you, Liam? How's it going? How's things? <laughs> <laughs> we meet again. Yeah. So, Liam, uh, tell us your story. You met him in, in the Jacks, yeah? Yeah, I did. I was at a So Far Sounds gig. Um, it was in D-Light Studios. Uh, amazing gig. Hosier was playing, Sarah Richardson, Wyvern Lingo. He's yes. recognising your voice there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a, a really cool event. And, um, yeah, just before the gig, actually, bumped into Hosier in the Jacks. And uh, we're both quite tall, so I think there was a mutual understanding there. Right. We yeah. had a little chat. I think he complimented my dungarees. I remember this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then later on the gig, um, I had a sign that said, Hosier is my brosier. And it was a small gig. There was maybe 100 people there. So yeah. he'd yeah. obviously spotted me in the crowd. Yeah. And at, w- at which point he goes on to say that, like, oh, it's very hard for a tall person to get a good pair of dungarees. So <laughs> at which point I decided to donate him my dungarees so I just took <laughs> him off and, and pass him up the stage and, and uh, he's wearing them today <laughs> yeah, if I'd known if I'd known uh, I, I, would, I remember I'd, I've, I had huge admiration uh, for for, uh, for that act at the time uh, Liam lashed off his dungarees in the middle of m- middle of the gig wow and um, but more, more so it was lash and rain Liam I think at the end of the we were somewhere um, somewhere a venue somewhere over the river and uh uh, I think it started lashing rain at some point, and you you had to walk home. I was like I was like trying very hard. You did hard. try to give them back. Didn't I, you? I, you caught, did, I did. I, I yeah, wasn't having any. You're so, an absolute legend. What height are you, Liam? I'm six foot three, and I reckon Hosier has a few inches on me. I'd say you're probably about six. About six five. Five. Yeah. Five, yeah, six, yeah. Five. But yeah, mm. and they um, but they they fit well, man. I did. <laughs> I have to try them on. Um, but you're an absolute legend. Now, oh yeah, I want to ask you about uh, your a few Twitter things. Very recently, you said that there was somebody you went to school with called the Angelus. Yeah, I, I just rem- I just was reminded that the other the other day. Yeah, so um, it was like a, a fairly crude term for somebody who was like really really good looking. So oh right, like okay. Kind of like, so clean they were the Angelus. It was it was no it was more the kind of the RTE um, like you know bong. Oh, the person looking up in the bong, sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. that was the, they were just known as the Angelus. Yeah. Um, <laughs> every head would would raise. Yeah. And is this a taster for a new album? Is the, are we going to be getting something soon? Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it, I hope to release another song between now and, and uh, Christmas, certainly. But but early next year we'll have we'll have the the the, mm. the proper body of the, of the work yeah. which uh, will be released. Yeah. So. And the I'm just looking at the photograph of you underwater. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was mm-hmm. was that actually real or was that? Yeah, that's underwater. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. My sinuses took <laughs> two weeks to, to feel right again. It was, um, and any particular reason for it? Um, it was part of the it was part of the concept for the for the album artwork. So we, um, you know, on on the first on the first record, my my mother is an artist and she had she painted the first album, mm. cover. and we were kind of looking at, at at that again, and she she'll be she'll be doing the same this time round. But um, it was part of composing like uh, a few, like kind of um, yeah, it's kind of it was as part of that. So we did a few a few shoots yeah uh, to get the materials ready for for the actual album artwork itself. But yeah, that's that's we set up like a room underwater and and wow. uh, and yeah, <laughs> it was good fun. You could have fun. you could have done the swimming down naked like Nirvana. Yeah, album. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. There, was, there was talk of it. <laughs> was there really? <laughs> You're doing the rehearsal gigs at the moment. The final one is on tonight at the Academy. Uh, they've been going well for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not no no major mishaps so far. <laughs> a few mishaps, but yeah. But they are rehearsals, so that, I suppose you know you can. It. Yeah. That's it. Uh, and uh, you did you did them fair play to you. You're doing them for charities for Safe Ireland, One in Four Irish, and uh, the Peter McBerry Trust as well yeah so uh, how did you pick those out I mean what what did you um I think I think it was just um I, I don't know I think I'd, I'd done some 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 kind of work and met a lot of people in the uh, safe Ireland network and, mm. and uh, with with when we did the, the cherry wine single and Peter McFerry I know just does, does amazing work and and coming home to Dublin I was quite I was kind of dismayed and really disheartened and mm. kind of broke my heart seeing you know how 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 that how that issue has has escalated and uh, one in four um, it's just a, I think I thought, thought it was an important time for it, and it is a it's a charity that it's an organisation that saves, yeah. saves lives, you know. So. Well, they're going to be absolutely delighted, but it must be very frustrating. And I mean, I've spoken to Peter McBerry himself. Uh, uh, you know, he's he's doing his best, but it's it seems to be getting worse, doesn't it? You it know, does. It really does. Yeah.